we Vinatik here and today let's discuss upgrading your existing environment from 6.0 to vSphere 6.5. Now VMware has just released this particular KB, it's 2147548 and this lists out quite a number of compatibility issues and considerations that you need to do uh, prior to upgrading to vSphere 6.5. So let's just go through the KB here uh, because given the number of issues and compatibility issues which are here the upgrade might not actually be as easy as it looks. Now the first thing we need to uh, keep in mind are the compatibility considerations. So there are a number of products from VMware which are not exactly compatible right now. This includes NSX, OpenStack, vCloud Director, vRealize Infrastructure uh, Navigator, App Volumes, Horizon, Integrated OpenStack, vCloud ne Networking and Security, vRealize Business for Cloud, we realize configuration manager, we realize hyperic, and the vSphere networking insight. So if you've got any of these suites installed on your VMware environment, in that case you'd not be able to upgrade to 6.5 at this point. So you might need to reach back, come back later to this particular article, or you might need to check up on the VMware product inter interoperability matrix at the later date once you find that a release for the other associated products is actually uh, available. Now if you've actually done a migration and if you want to revert back, in that case we have the KB2146453 that you can use to roll back. And you can also do a rollback of the Windows installer by following the uh, uh, the document uh, documentation which is there. Now, upgrade considerations. For VMA Virtual Center, there are a number of KB articles which are related, which you'll need to uh, review prior to making a successful upgrade. So, essentially, it lists out the issues which you might be facing. Now, one of the biggest issues is, of course, if you're running NSX, in that case, you would not be able to upgrade to 6.5 at this point in time. Now, there are topologies which are supported and uh, which, which are actually deprecated right now, and those are listed in 2147672. Um, license issues, device deprecated and unsupported. You have the upgrades, uh, upgrade to virtual center best practices, upgrade sequence, which is actually there for compatible product. You also have, um, you, you'll also be unable to repoint a site. Uh, if you have, if you are doing an upgrade using 6.5 and for that, you'll need to follow a particular documentation which is actually there listed as well. Attempt to install a PSC or a pra uh, Platform Services Controller might actually fail. Now for uh, migration, you have the preparing for migration section under the vSphere upgrade guide you'll need to follow. Now in, in terms of if you've actually done a Windows install and then if you've actually upgraded it to 6.5, you'll not be able to upgrade, you'll not be able to migrate to the Linux-based appliance. And there also is a link for considerations for upgrading the uh, update manager to the appliance version. Now for PSC, the PSC high availability is currently in beta version. There you have a link right there, 2147018. Uh, which you'll need to follow. For ESX, this signals the end of availability for FCOE on Intel Network Controller. So essentially, if you upgrade your Intel Network Controller, you'll not be able to use it for FCOE. NSX, of course, we don't, we, we don't have a compatibility version. For vRealize operation, in that case, uh, you, you'll have, you have a KB there for feature accommodation between the vSphere 6 and 6.5 and the vRealize operations 5.8 and 6.0.1. vSphere client considerations, of course, that is the introduction to vSphere client. You can also watch my video on that. For VDS, uh, VDS now doesn't allow you to do an upgrade or the upgrade will fail if you have a duplicate board groups and uh, DVS names, so that is something to be kept in mind again. Under the known issues, you have the vCenter server, so um, if you have more than one data store, uh, I mean, if, when you do an upgrade and when you actually enable HA, it'll fail with more than one data store error, the K before that is listed. We realize operation manager, of course, 
um, it uh, the vSphere tags will be missing. Security consideration. There has been some changes on the TLS protocols as such, and that you can find more um, more details on on two one four five seven nine six. Now encryption. So essentially, if you're running an encrypted K K K KMS virtual machine. Um, in case of a host failure, you will be losing data. So that is something else to, to be um, keeping in mind while doing the upgrade. So these are just some of the issues which are there, uh, which you need to keep in mind uh, prior to the upgrade. There, I'll also be doing an in-depth review of the upgrade document itself from VMware, so stay tuned for that. This is Fanatic signing off for now. Thank you.